our next topic is central problems of economics now before studying this topic let's understand why do we study economics we study economics because we have many wants and limited resources so a couple of questions arise if we have limited resources how do we put them to use what do we produce and once we know what do we produce the second question that comes up is how to produce it and when we know how to produce it we have to answer the question for whom to produce it and finally when we've answered this we have and finally when we've answered this we should know how do we provide for future growth how do we grow from here so this is what economics tells us this is what economics answers what what to produce how to produce for whom to produce and provision for economic growth what to produce now this is a very tricky question which product would you produce if you put up your enterprise will you produce a tv or you will produce cloth this is a very important question unless you have answered this question unless you know what to produce you cannot set up a company you cannot move ahead with it and once you know what you what you want to produce you should know how do you want to produce it do you want to produce it with modern techniques that is the capital in intensive method or with the traditional method labor technique with the help of labor that is the labor intensive once we know how to produce goods our next question is for whom to produce do we produce the goods for the poorer section of the society or we produce it for the richer section of the society or we produce it for the middle class which section of the society we need to target it has to be answered that is we need to produce it for the masses or we need to produce it for the classes and finally how do we grow what is the provision for future economic growth it can be by method of saving it can be by clawing back of all profits you have to choose with you have to choose which method of growing you need to apply because you need to have provision for future growth because unless you grow you will not be interested in the same business and with the growth of all the individuals a country grows so it is very important that all individuals grow all enterprises grow